do you are you cool with getting into Attack of the Dock? Do you want to go yeah, over that yeah, one first? Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's, uh, Sweet. We had, a, we had a blast. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. Initial react. Well, my initial reaction was I wasn't really sure what to expect because I saw the the uh, trailer and it looked super fun. It looked vibrant. It looked energetic, and that's exactly what you got from the documentary. Uh, but there's more to it. There's so much more depth behind the scenes that you got to see the chemistry between the hosts, the chemistry between like the whole team. Um, and Chris did a brilliant job of really getting people together to create this thing, whether it was edit it, find the footage, because there's like hundreds and hundreds of episodes of, of Attack of the Show. Um, you know, ed edit all that stuff down and then put it into a cohesive documentary to see where it had its humble beginnings and then where it ended up and where we are now. Um, it didn't cover the Frost stuff, um, which I think is fair because I think ultimately at the beginning of the doc it said this is a documentary or a film made by fans for fans and I just remember the, the theater cheering you know and and that's what it was and I think they just wanted to focus mainly on that more so than you know the downfall well of, the frost uh, era didn't have know. any fans to you know <laughs> and <laughs> to, 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 like go, compile footage and to talk about uh, you know it was this just focused on like the real G4, not the yeah. zombie resurrection of it that shambled about for a year and then fell face first into its grave. Uh, you know, this was about the, the, you know, the pinnacle of, you know, the show from its, its you know, very, very small roots up to uh, where it, you know, kind of like became the go-to for, for pop cover nerd pop culture. Um, it was about how they, uh, you know, there's a great section on where they teamed up with Comic-Con and Comic-Con, you know, much like I always say, they, they don't know, you know, they're just kind of like going through the motions. They don't really, they didn't really know what G4 was and they kind of were like, eh, you can have this little space. And that little space ended up drawing so much attention that, you know, even they had to notice that, uh, oh, this is popular, we better, uh, you know, and that's where Comic-Con kind of like really exploded too was through G G4. It was just a, like a, a more, a more charming time i think mm -hmm. uh it was uh you know it's like everything was simpler uh, everything was not so corporate there was more of a sense of like fun and like you can do anything and anything can happen and the documentary really captured that uh chris and his team did an absolutely fantastic job and um you know i, I have to say like i kind of found the found the, found the beginning of the documentary like maybe the first 15 minutes i found a little dry because it was kind mm -hmm. of uh going over like how all of these things came together um, and so that was like a little bit, like I was interested in it, but like it wasn't completely capturing me. But then once it got into, here's where things started rolling. Here's where Kevin Pereira got offered the host gig on, uh, you know, Attack of the Show. Here's where Olivia Munn came in. You know, everything that everybody remembers, you know, once it hit that point, man, I just, I couldn't take the smile off my face. That was the, yeah, that was the big thing. And I, I agree with you. Once it really got going, I was just smiling the entire time because it was, it brought you back, like you said, to an era where everything seemed to be a little bit more lighthearted. And it was really the first of its kind. And when you look at these other YouTube channels or other commentary channels or um, other TV shows just in general that cover pop culture, video games, nerd stuff, like these guys were doing it first. You know, G4 Attack of the Show was really the place for movies, TV, video games, um, and it really was, it was a pioneer. And, and like you said, Chris captured that perfectly. Um, the only two issues that I had with it, same as you, the first 15 minutes was kind of jarbled. And I, I, for me, it was just like kind of information and I wasn't really sure what to do with it. But then it all came together and made sense of like, oh, okay, here's why we're getting that. And then now we're, now we're, you know, sailing on the ship. Yeah, laying um, the groundwork. It really did a good job of laying the groundwork. It's just that, you know, you were kind of like, if you knew anything about it, like if you were coming in for the first time and you're like, what is this G4? You know, what was this mm -hmm. attack of the show? It's really good information to kind of like build it up. But for like people like who kind of already knew what the show was, um, I found myself anticipating getting to that. Um, you know, the, the, it was all interesting what they were saying. You know, I was never bored, um, but like I was really like, okay, let's get to the let's get to the meat of it uh, because yeah. I'm impatient. So, <laughs> <laughs> but once it got to that meat, it was just like, oh, it hit me in all the nerd feels, and it was just it was so well captured of that uh, that moment in time. Um, but the show, I think itself, is very timeless. Uh, but the other thing that I was going to say that I well, kinda... it's timeless if you have a sense of humor. 
if you're, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, if you're, like, if you're, if you're one of the, the people like, uh, you know, from, uh, from Reddit today, uh, you know, you're not going to have a good time with it. It's going to feel like, you know, the most offensive thing in the world because it was yeah. from the, the early 2000s. You know, we were coming out of the 90s. The 90s was largely, uh, you know, um, like I don't remember b having big conversations about all the topics that we constantly get bombarded with today because everybody was just kind of like, at least, you know, in, in California and, in, and, you know, through my high school and things like that, like everybody was just kind of cool with each other in general. And when you found things like Comic-Con, there's a big part of this in the documentary where they talk about how it was a shared experience. It didn't matter what walk of life you came from, you know, what uh, what color you were, what your sexuality was. You were all there, you know, you were going to cons and things like that. And G4 was like helping you to celebrate video games and all the things that you loved. And everybody kind of came together over that. And it's before, you know, like the divisiveness of politics found its way even into nerd spaces and started splintering everybody apart. So, you know, it was a really great callback and, uh, you know, a, a good, a really good portrait of like where it would be nice to go again. A Amen, brother. I, I mean, one of the things that I noticed that was beautiful about the documentary and, and what a lot of this footage, what we were able to see through a lot of this footage is that nerds and and geeks and dorks have always been diverse we have always accepted each other we have always been within the sphere that has loved on one another because of the things that we share and love as well even if we disagree on this movie's better or this show is better or this comic is better or worse um and that's like that's the beauty of what the show was like we were railing on each other but we were also having a good time we were laughing and the show was diverse you know, and, and and the, I think you said politics, I would even say the ideology, you know, because there's a lot of ideology, I feel like that's being um, portrayed, or at least pushed within current Hollywood and entertainment, where you have these quotas, or you have these things where you can't tell that joke, or you can't say that thing, or can't mention that thing, and it's become, you know, so close minded and restricted. Um, whereas Attack of the Show was anything goes final thoughts what did you think overall um what was the highlight of it uh of just the experience and the film um yeah i'll i'll let you kind of take that with what you will the highlight for me was probably the comic-con stuff like when they were talking about how they started going to mm. trade shows and things like that because i was actually there for a lot of that i actually was standing right there when uh olivia munn was in the uh the slave leia costume and uh was film filming that stuff and, and giving the crew a hard time and just like you know, kind of like reliving just that era with uh with her and Kevin up there, um, just bantering. And, and, you know, both of them always seemed like up for anything. And, uh, you know, they, they were really self-deprecating. Uh, you know, they didn't mind embarrassing themselves for a laugh, um, didn't take themselves seriously. Really, really nice. Completely agree with, with you on all accounts. Um, I think if anything, this film, this documentary will just bring a huge smile to your face because it will give you an opportunity to kind of go back into the past not because of, oh, member berries and, you know, I remember this. It's much more than that. It's giving you, uh, it's giving you, it's showing you a moment in time of where things were simpler. Things didn't seem to be so divided and, and uh, corrupted. Um, things seem to be much simpler, like I said. And people just loved on each other because of, you know, our, our nerd and, and, Geek, geekiness you know and that was kind of the beautiful part about it and that's why it was so fun um and and so i i loved seeing that because it it reminds me of where we were and it also kind of sh like shined a light on where we could potentially be you know if we found our way back to that and so i'm hoping that through this documentary people can see this people can relive it but then they can also take the 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 beauty of what it was and they can apply it to their own YouTube channels or their own um, journals or their websites or their films because that's that's what we need right now. And uh, so, hey, cheers to Chris, uh, Chris Gorm and his whole team. They really crushed it with this and uh, it was truly something something special.